We all know that the world faces a massive challenge in terms of climate change. There are people who don't believe in it, and you know, there are some famous people in the world who think it's not anything to do with them. In terms of Greater Manchester uh, and Manchester, there's a policy commitment by 2038 will be a carbon neutral city. Andy Burnham's ambition for Greater Manchester is for Manchester to be a digital first city and the greenest city in Manchester in the country. There is a long way to go on that, but firstly, on our products, on new build, that has to be in place. Carbon zero products for new build have to be in place by 2028, which means we have to build those homes from 2025 onwards, which means we should now be ready to have products that can work at scale over that period of time. Um, I think we've done some really good work, pioneering work on that, providing well-designed, architect-led homes, but sustainable homes. Stonygate, really good example, it uses a theory called fabric first, i.e. you do stuff uh, that can be uh, constructed outside and off-site, uh, uses sustainable materials, it gets to a high performance stand standards. Stonygate, I was there a couple of weeks ago, um, I think we've got some good products on design on that. We're certainly looking to increase the number of options on that. We did some very pioneering work in Ernley Close, which is a retrofit of Passive House, uh, which is very low energy bills, about 50 quid a year for residents. Um, expensive to do, and there's the nub really. I think our big problem uh, with Carbon Zero isn't so much the challenge of new build properties, because I think we're well on the way to do that, it's how you innovate at scale and cost of the existing homes we have. Our energy performance of our current homes is quite good, you know, compares a lot to another association. There are some areas which are really poor. The challenge is, is getting from good to carbon zero, and we estimate just on current figures that would cost us an extra 70 million quid in addition to all our investment programs we have at the moment using the technology that exists currently and without any apparent public sector subsidy for that. Uh, now that's a massive challenge, um, but technology is moving really fast in this area all the time and our job really is to keep up with that, to invest in stuff which is future-proofed as opposed to technology which people sell me, try to sell us every day of the week of uh, PV panels and everything else. I think there are ways of looking at that. We need to take uh, a long-term game approach to this. Um, we are working with a range of people across the city and across Greater Manchester to look at options about that. Uh, I'm very determined that we make progress on that. Um, it's not going to be without its challenge, particularly on costs and particularly choosing the right bits of technology and analysing where we start first. First area we'll be looking at that is our redevelopment of Greymare Lane, which you've got concrete built homes, poor energy performance, how can we look at changing that? Might be a mixture of overcladding, different forms of technology do that, but they all come with a cost. Big problem in this country, we haven't got an infrastructure fund that supports that, and that's one of the areas that we'll be campaigning to with other people to look at how we can get more money in to do it. Um, but that's just about our housing products. There's also a bit about how we work, how we live, uh, the offices that we inhabit, uh, the materials that we use. You know, David Attenborough has made this the big thing about plastic. I think that's probably caught the public imagination. There are other things that we need to do about uh, energy as a whole and technologies that we need much more public buying and much more public realisation. I think the whole industry around consumerism and shopping and plastics is starting to make an impact. We need to do the same of how we manage our working lives and how we uh, develop, repair and build new homes to have the whole energy about carbon zero at the front of our, front of our minds really.